Hi, folks, nice from Galaxy S4 Root.com for this week's AT&T Mobile Sprint Verizon Canadian and GTI 9505 ROM of the week. Um, do check out Liquid Smooth ROM. Uh, this is actually a multi carry ROM that works on all LTE enabled Galaxy S4 with a Snapdragon 600 processor, which is AT&T Mobile Sprint Verizon Canadian GTI 9505. Um, this is an AOSP ROM uh, with the latest Android 4.4.2 KitKat. And I really love it. I've got it installed on my AT&T. Uh, this is a low-key version. I'm not sure if it's going to work um, if you have the uh, safe strap version. Um, it may. Uh, but overall, it is awesome. It is super smooth, super fast. Um, you can get a ton of customization. Let me go ahead and show you that here. Um, go to settings here, and you'll find interface uh, animation controls. This is where I've changed my animation, so it slides in, slides right, all that good stuff. Um, also, clock widget, uh, power menus here. Now, power menu, you will be missing uh, screen recording menu, uh, but that's okay. Liquid Smooth Team has added KitKat screen record screen capture app there separately, um, so you can use that instead of uh, the power menu for doing that. Uh, and also, here's the recent apps, kind of nice looking there. Um, also, let's go take a look at uh, custom progress bar. Uh, color and size, you can go ahead and change the progress bar if you want to. Um, LCD density there also. Interface, uh, recent RAM bar if you want it. And lock screen. Um, you get pretty much a standard uh, lock screen um, customizations there. And also for navigation, um, you can go ahead and add a navigation bar, change the targets, change the buttons, change the size, change the location. Uh, I'm not sure about the size actually, sorry. Um, and also, let's eh, just leave that on. You got total blackout. I highly suggest leave that on. Uh, AMOLED screens on the Galaxy S4 will save you more battery life if you have more black pixels. Um, wake lock blocker. Uh, Pi controls, notification drawer, active display. Um, so, very nice set of customizations. Um, you know, but the, the number th number one thing with this ROM is that it is super fast. I mean, you will notice it as soon as you install it. As for camera, um, you get standard AOSP camera, 4.4.2 camera, but you can go ahead and upgrade it to the Photosphere camera. Uh, just grab the APK. And other than that, it comes with DSP Manager. Um, battery life should be pretty darn good, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. Um, also, let me see. Oh, one thing that's not going to work, one thing that's not good about this ROM, um, I hate to say it, but uh, Korean font doesn't work, which I go to Korean sites all the time. Um, so that's Korean. But uh, Japanese sites work. Um, so let's go to Yahoo Japan. Uh, all the other fonts work, just Korean doesn't work. Um, so I know, you know, not all of you speak Korean or read Korean, but I know some of you do. Uh, also, Chinese works, so Chinese users, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, but I hope they fix this issue because it's just been an issue with Liquid Smooth uh, for the last whole year. I don't know, they their ROM doesn't support um, Korean, so it's hard for me to use it as daily drive, even though I really want it. Um, but it, still, it's it's a great ROM, and uh, definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. And you can also do multi-window. Ooh, there you go. And you can record videos while going on Baidu in Chinese. Actually, I don't speak Chinese. There we go. So multi-window, if you want it, it's there. Um, just add to split view. So that's another feature um, that's awesome. Um, so definitely awesome, awesome, awesome. Everything awesome about this ROM. Uh, there you go. So I've got multi-window there. And you can go sideways also if you want to. Uh, well, you might have to reopen it. But overall, really love this ROM. If you're looking for a really fast AOSP ROM with Android 4.4.2 KitKat, along with a ton of customization, definitely you can't go wrong with this one. Um, and uh, you might have to get rid of these when you want to get rid of the multi-window. Um, that's just, that's just uh, how the multi-window works on AOSP ROMs. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM review, and do let me know what you think. And as always, if you have a Galaxy S4, uh, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxys4root.com. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.